1903, Walter Sutton was a PhD student working at Columbia University. Sir Sutton was working with grasshoppers. And from his studies, he was the first to reach the solid conclusion that chromosomes are carriers of heredity. He published that work, but never published another paper. Instead, he became a surgeon and died prematurely at the age of 39. In 1914, the, the German uh, biologist Theodor Bovary, uh, while studying worms and sea urchins, had a, had a vision. And in a famous monograph, published an argument that abnormalities of chromosomes might account for cancer. He anticipated the current form uh, of the genetic paradigm with remarkable patience, but there was no evidence for his, uh, his vision until 1959, when two scientists in Philadelphia, Peter Knoll and David Hungerford, the latter of whom was still a graduate student, discovered a miniature chromosome, an abnormal chromosome, that was unique to the cells of chronic myeloid leukemia. The chromosome was dubbed the Philadelphia chromosome in honor of the city where it was discovered. Now the nature of this chromosome was not known until 1972 when Janet Raleigh, working at the University of Chicago, demonstrated that the Philadelphia chromosome results from a reciprocal translocation between two chromosomes, chromosomes 9 and 22. Here is an image uh, of what Janet Raleigh had discovered. The two chromosomes essentially swap pieces. Uh, in the end, a piece of chromosome 22 is now on chromosome 9, and a piece of chromosome 9 is now on chromosome 22. That is the Philadelphia chromosome. We now know that abnormalities of chromosomes are common in human cancer, and sometimes there's sheer chaos among the chromosomes. Consider this example of colon cancer. Here are the normal cr human chromosomes arrayed and colored so that they can distinguish one from another. And here are the chromosomes from the colon cancer. In some instances, there are three instead of two. In some instances, you see what Raleigh had found before, chromosomes of swap pieces. Here's a piece of a red chromosome on a blue-gray chromosome. This kind of chaos suggests that havoc has been wreaked with the genes in the cancer.